know, everybody, everybody that knows me, Zora, know that what kind of person I am and what kind of family we are. We're very, very authentic. You know, um, we wanted this to be as real as possible. The scene that they shoot, you know, the cast playing basketball, it was the the basketball court we grew up playing in. You know, the house they lived, it was literally the next door of the house we, we, we grew up in. So, so, you know, we wanted this to be as authentic as possible because that's where how people relate to you the most. I'm Zora Stevenson with the Bucks. I think I know these guys. Um, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, Thanasis, I'll start with you. This family has accomplished so much and everything keeps adding up. But what does having a movie about your family mean to you all? Oh, man. Dude, it's crazy. You know, just the, uh, it's different than when you, you know, you go through this journey and you know exactly what's going to happen, what's going on. But it's different to see it on screen. And you're like, oh, man. And you see other people's reaction and what you think might be like, oh, it's okay. And people are like, man, you went through this or this, or whatever it might be, you know? So, but at the end of the day, I'm so proud. You know, I'm, 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 I'm proud and I'm, I'm, I can't wait for people to watch the movie, you know, and be inspired and be motivated, you know? It's, it's really is a good film. Veronica, I'm coming to you next because you're the only one that knows like everything that happened, right? Like you have all the information. <laughs> um, <laughs> how accurate is the movie? How accurate? Yeah. yeah. It's just accurate. <laughs> accurate. Yeah? Yes. Giannis, was there any scene that you were like, oh, that really did did happen? I mean, do you think it portrays your family in the in the in the way that things actually progressed for you all? You know, everybody, everybody that knows me, Zora, know that what kind of person I am and what kind of family we are. We're very, very authentic. You know, um, we wanted this to be as real as possible. You know, when they gave us the script, you know, there was you know, maybe some uh, points that they were exaggerating a little bit, but, you know, there was times that we, we came back and forth like 25 times and we were doing this during the season, you know, and um, we wanted this to be as authentic as possible. Like the scene that they shoot, um, you know, the cast playing basketball, it was the, the basketball court we grew up playing in. You know, the house they lived, it was literally the next door of the house we, we, we grew up in. So, so, you know, we wanted this to be as authentic as possible because that's where how people relate to you the most. You know, and I think they did a great job. Even the cast did a great that's job, for, yeah, portraying us. Uh, and Disney did a, a great job, just you know, uh, you know, hearing us out and you know, um, basically do what we want. You all tend to be private at times. So, what was it like to share such intimate parts of your upbringing with with the world? Um, <clears throat> it's um, I don't think it's like you said we're we're like a private you know and it's I feel like for me at least it was it was kind of hard to open up to say certain stuff because you don't want people to know everything about you as a person I feel like some people do at least and then you don't want um, just to how you say this to say certain things or show certain things that might make people think about you different or may offend people or something like make that. So don't don't make people uncomfortable, you. uncomfortable right? Yeah. So you keep it as, you know, you take what you want to say and stuff that you don't want to say about your life, you just keep it for yourself. Yeah. And uh, I, feel, I feel like that's what most of us did. Yeah. One, one last one, um, and Alex, you can answer this one. What's your favorite Charles quote? There's a lot of Charles quotes in there. Oh. What's your favorite one? Uh, oh, well, um, I really don't think I honestly, being 100% honest, I don't think I have a favorite one. I just truly enjoyed, you know, his, his words of wisdom that um, as I grew older, you know, some. Some I understood back then, some I understood a little bit as a grow older, but I definitely valued um, the, the knowledge that he had to share with us. And um, even though at the time I didn't understand some of the stuff he's saying, he, uh, he was saying, I definitely like value him sharing to, that stuff with us. To add to that, that what Ali just said, I don't know if he did say this quote in the movie, I'm not sure, but my dad used to say all the time, to say tomorrow is another day. He said that all the time. And when I was a kid, 
I didn't, I didn't understand. I was like, what, what does that even mean? Tomorrow is another day. But now as an adult, I get what that means. That means that if you're having a terrible day, if you're, like everything might be bad, tomorrow is another day. It's a, it's a reset. You start from the beginning. So just close your eyes, go to sleep, and just hope tomorrow is going to be a better day. You forget about the past and focus yeah, on, the focus future. on the future. And also uh, another quote, just of what he said, uh, tomorrow is another day, but also just to be to take advantage of what you have and the situation that you're in. He always used to say, I won't wait one one day more than what's necessary. <laughs> so yeah. that's pretty much saying if you could get something done today, why wait why wait till tomorrow? Just be productive with what you can yeah. what you can to take advantage of your tools and our tool was basketball. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I know if I ever have a secret, I'm going to Costas and Alex with it because <laughs> they won't go and, and tell if I'm going to play basketball and I'm not supposed to. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Good Thank to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name's Zora Stevenson. I'm with the Bucks. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, Zora, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. The The film was phenomenal. I work with uh, Giannis and Thanasis pretty frequently, so it, it was cool to see all the all the details. In, in your own words, you're explaining this film. What is it about? It's a film about the triumph of the human spirit, you know, this family who, under very adverse circumstances, overcome. Uh, you know, you couldn't make it up. And I think audiences will be in for that kind of thrill ride. So for me, it's it's that. What an inspiring story and what a what an incredible journey, you know? And so and so that for me is what and inspirational, you know, and I think I think when you watch the film, I mean, people are already touched by their story, but now you can go behind the scenes a little bit more and see some of the connective tissue that make the the, the players that we love. You see where they come where they come from, the sacrifice of their parents, and this idea of just staying together. And that beautiful, beautiful quote from Giannis, which is, you know, as little kids, you don't see your future. Your parents see the future for you, and their parents saw such a great future for them. And I think it's something that we can all relate to and uh, and uh, and vibe with how did you work with the actors and, and the entire production team to make sure that this family story was portrayed properly what goes into that well the beauty of it is that everyone was inspired by the story so everyone on the team wanted to make sure that we told the story the right way as a filmmaker i'm always striving for authenticity which is what the family is and they were collaborators with us so in terms of getting that authenticity was something that they encouraged we encouraged we spoke about it and we took those messages to the team and to the crew and everyone and, and i think that uh, yeah it was really important to make sure we captured the essence if you if you you know you work with them when you come into contact with with that family there's just something really beautiful and humble that we all take and i think that spirit is what we brought onto the set and brought to the to the participants you know shooting in athens was amazing shooting in the real locations that he grew up in that the streets they walked in you know we tapped into all those spirits to be able to tell the story in an authentic way that it reflects the people that we love and admire how much did you learn well one how familiar were you with the story of this family and how much more did you learn going through this process I was very familiar with the story of the family because I'm a, I'm an upset I'm a basketball fanatic. I love basketball. I love the NBA, and so I've been following Giannis since 2013 when I first read his story. When I was like, if ever I made a basketball movie, it would be this gentleman's story because, like I said, it speaks more to the human condition. So back from 2013, I'd already been thinking about the movie. Uh, I didn't write anything down, but you know, I, I I just I just always had it in the back of my mind. So, um, so I knew that. So, so then the, uh, when, when now the opportunity came, what I learned more, I guess, is more about a, a lot of a more detail in terms of Francis. And I knew, I knew about, I knew about Francis, but then the, 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 I was able to learn a little bit more, you know? And so that aspect, other than that, I mean, I follow, by, by virtue of the fact that I just follow basketball and I follow him and so on, it's almost like I've been lockstep <laughs> from day one uh basketball is like the air that i breathe so you know it's like ah what did Giannis do today or what you know what i mean like it's just it's just like it's just in it's it's, it's just in the dna so uh, coming with that and that's why like i say i dreamt about the film for quite a long time before i was given the opportunity to make it what's your favorite scene i love the entire movie just because of how i got to tell the story in terms of um you know, um, reading about it and getting my agent to get me in the room and 
and and and so on, and keeping this magazine that I that bought that said Disney's making a film of keeping that magazine by my bedside and making sure that that I didn't take it away till I knew they had a director. So making the film for me is a dream come true. But but if if to, to get more specific, I would say recreating that draft sequence was just amazing. It was just amazing. Yeah, that that scene at the end was was awesome from everyone's perspective. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. I really appreciate it. We're coming it. back next year. Go Bucks. Oh, of course we are. Of course you are. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Hi, how are you? My name's Zora. I work for the Bucks. So this is super exciting. Um, and I'm excited to chat with you both. Oh, hi, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. If both oh, of Bucks. you could just yeah, right? Always, always. If both of you could just give a quick synopsis, you're telling a friend that you're in this movie. What is the movie about? Mm. Okay. Well, okay. You go. You to do? Yes. You okay. Do? Yes, you go. Okay. So Rise is an incredibly inspiring story about a Nigerian immigrant family and their harrowing journey as they navigated their way through the streets of Greece and raising five boys who miraculously made it into the NBA, three of which are now champions. Mm -hmm. That was succinct. I don't know. I mean, what a lance it is that. And it is a story about belief mm. and faith and following your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. What role does family play in, in this story and, and what one will do for family? Yeah. Everything. everything, 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 everything. I mean, one of my, the things I've been saying, or rather that's come to me, to me through this uh, press run is that Family is the wind beneath your sails. I just love the idea of that. Like family is the engine that keeps um, perseverance going, especially with the ideas of more family. And listen, kudos to their parents, Veronica and Charles. Mm -hmm. Like they did an incredible job raising their children. That's what I'm going to say. Completely dire the circumstances. Parents of the kings. parents of kings. The yes. parents of kings. And so, I mean, family is really all you have. You know, what good is success if you don't have somebody to share it with? What good is, you know, um, being able to say you over overcame all this adversity on your own you know what i mean mm -hmm. when you when you go through that with your family it is an incredibly bonding experience you know mm -hmm. um human beings we crave relationship we crave you know connection. Um, connection and that's exactly what family is it is the vehicle to get you through life right and i like how it expands to a more universal level yep. you know you have that that family on the nuclear that you start yeah. with but then it's what well, you know what the things that you're saying about the the, the cultural family cultural the family. bucks family the bucks family <laughs> the, the sports family the you know and you can continue to build out further and further on that yeah. idea and the more that you were able to i mean it's uh, without saying you you know, the, the better it is for all of us going through this experience. What did you all do to make sure you properly portrayed Veronica mm -hmm. and Charles? Mm. Research. Research. <laughs> <laughs> Research. Research. I mean, there was one thing, you know, that they discussed uh, later with Akin um, Amatashaw, our incredible director. There was a day that I just, you know, walked into... Um, Athens and I spent about I want to say about six seven hours just walking and I went to Monastiraki I walked around there that was uh, one of the places that Veronica would have sold at um you know walked and there's a lot of hills mm -hmm. um and then you know I, I discussed this with Agni after because then the next day I'm feeling um I'm filming and I'm still feeling you know that that pain in my legs and I went yes that's what I wanted, I wanted that you know, authenticity of, of that moment in there. But, you know, all, all of the footage, all of the pictures, all of the, the chatting with her when the, the chance uh, presented itself, and of course, crafting it with uh, this incredible team. But you couldn't chat with Charles. So how did you, um, and, and he was such a focal point, which I loved. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so poignant. He really was the focal point of, of this film. Mm -hmm. So how did you make sure you did that justice? Um, well, first of all, through Veronica. Veronica made herself available to me so I could send her questions whenever I wanted to get to know him through her. And um, and also, I think there's like four minutes of footage of him speaking on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So just watch that four minutes constantly, all the time, just to really get an essence of who the guy was. Because I know when I got the role, you know, Aki and myself and um, and even Arash, the writer as well, we and Bernie Goldman as well, we kind of had a conversation as to what way do we go into this character. And um, we were like, look, he's not, you know, Michael Jordan. He's not Ray Charles. Like people don't have an idea of how he is. And oh, we have to get his walk right or his cadence right or 
or anything like that right you know but we want but we do have a mandate to get the spirit of who this man was right and so yeah we were not hung up on the set dressing so to speak we were hung up on the essence of him and Akin was like yeah he, he from all accounts he was just a super gentleman you know very calm and very loving and always which is kind of anti-stereotypical of the Nigerian father who attend, who tend to be tyrants and tend to, you know, you know, lead with a strong fist. I can tell you that from my own experience. My father was very tough, but like he was tough in a different way. You know, he came about it from, from a different way. He 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 was kind and hardworking and he just trusted his children will absorb that from him as a sponge. So yeah, there was a research in there as well, but we also wanted to create the character of Charles. You know, I'll never be Charles in real life. Like, I'll never be that man. Um, but in our story, we could create a proxy of him um, to serve our story. So that's what we did. Well, thank you both so much for your time. Um, I appreciate you. it. And I hope you all are maybe a little bit of Bucks fans now after going A little bit? <laughs> all the way. All the way. We needed Middleton. I know. I know. Hey, they, they got it last year and uh, it's only the that's beginning. Right. Of you guys. Next year. Next year. <laughs> thank you. Hey, guys, how are you? My name's Zora. I work for the Bucks, um, and so I'm super excited to chat with you guys. Um, Uche, we'll start with you. In your own words, like if you were to just tell a friend, like, hey, I'm in this movie. It's about blank. What is this movie about? It's, about, it's an inspirational and inspiring story about a family who came from absolutely nothing, worked hard and pushed each other and created something absolutely incredible. They created NBA history. Three brothers that have championship rings never done before and uh it's definitely definitely a movie to check out you two are brothers Raul. who do you think is the nasus and who do you think is Giannis between the two of you like if you all were either I, of them i definitely think they got it right <laughs> this guy this guy man even down to the dad jokes he's 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 a lot like him and Thanasis is a extremely funny guy, but like he's also the older brother who looks to like really look out for his younger brother. So I could definitely relate to that because I'm his, this guy's older brother. How did you all prepare and research to portray those two guys? What did you do so that you felt like you were doing justice by who they are as people? I mean, it was a whole bunch of research. Just really just watching. There's a lot of YouTube videos that people made about about how they grew up, where they grew up. And also there's a ton of articles, interviews, podcasts, a whole bunch of stuff on the Internet that uh, we use to our advantage. We also work with uh, a dialect coach to try and uh, find the accent that, that we we uh, did in the movie. And uh, that just required a whole bunch of repetition. But uh, I'd say just a whole a whole bunch of, uh, you know, hard work and just, you know, continue continuing to read the scripts, a, a lot of that stuff. What was it like for your first time? And both of you, is this your, both of your first time acting? Yeah. Okay. So what is, what was it like your first time acting? You're portraying real people. I think maybe, you know, maybe your first time, if it's like a, a character that's made up, it's different than, than living people. What was the process like just making sure that you were ready for this role? Uh, it was, I think it helped because like there's somewhat of a template but like acting isn't about emulating some somebody else. It's about like really learning the character and like really trying to like connect with the character. So it's not about emulating them, but I do think that the, the fact that they're real people did definitely help because there's things to research. Like there's, you're playing a real person so you can look up their life, how they grew up and really like connect with that. Were you all able to talk to Giannis and Thanasis at all as you were filming? Or is this just going off of like videos and articles and stuff? All just videos and articles. Because at the time they were in the uh, the playoffs winning a champ about about to win a championship. And in fact, the same day that we landed in New Jersey was the same night they won the championship, yeah. which is kind of crazy. So when you all were filming that draft scene. When you said you landed in New Jersey. No, I mean, so. When, when we landed in New Jersey, like once we finished the film. Oh, when you're done. We, yeah, we came home. We landed in New Jersey. The same night we landed back home. Got it. The same night they won the championship. So they were wow. in the playoffs the entire time we were uh, filming the movie. And are you all NBA fans? I hear uh -huh. you all weren't even Bucks fans. What's going on? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I read that somewhere. So set the record straight. So 
we, we've been like NBA fans for like most of our childhood. I remember when I was in the fifth grade or something like that, I saw this video of Dwayne Wade. He was playing again. I don't remember what team it was, but there was a play where somebody caught the ball from going back court and I threw it ahead to Wade and he caught it as he's falling out of bounds and throws a lob to Shaq. And it was just like the most amazing thing I had ever seen. So Dwayne Wade was my favorite player for until he retired. But yeah, that was when I fell in love with basketball. Bucks fans now. Oh, after learning everything about Giannis, it's hard not to root for the Bucks, man. Of course. I mean, prior to filming this, I wasn't necessarily, I didn't really have a team. I just enjoyed watching basketball. But uh, I mean, now, again, with, like like he said, learning a whole, everything about uh, their family, it's hard not to root for them, man. Well, both of you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, you both were phenomenal. I, I watched the film and it, it was thank great. You. So thank, thank you. you for the time.